This week, I had the opportunity to travel to Naval Station Pensacola, where I covered the Manpower, Personnel, Training, and Education Sailor of the Year Week. mpt e Sailor of the Year Week honors the top four first-class petty officers in the mpt e domain who have demonstrated superior performance, leadership, self-improvement, and command and community involvement throughout the year. The week began with the candidates meeting with Commander of Naval Education Training Command, Rear Admiral Kyle Kozad. After the meeting, the sailors stood aboard where each had to demonstrate their knowledge of Navy policy, history, and sailorization before a panel of board members, which consisted of Master Chiefs from the various mpt and domains. Once the boards were complete, the sailors got the opportunity to travel across the Alabama state line to visit Battleship Memorial Park. There, the sailors toured the battleship USS Alabama and submarine USS Drum. The visit to the historical site served as a reminder to the importance of naval history. And I think it's important that as sailors of the year, they get an opportunity to visit the past and realize that the huge burden that's been placed on them to learn these items, learn these things about their history, about their background, so that as they become chiefs, they're able to pass on this information so that we continue the learning process of being a sailor, being a contributing member, a valuable contributing member to our mission. Day two began with a visit to Naval Air Technical Training Center. While inside, the sailors toured the hangar and learned how enlisted sailors were being trained in aviation and aviation ordinance. The candidates also learned how instructors are using simulators to train sailors on the use of flight deck equipment. The teachings will help students understand how to fully operate equipment before they reach the fleet, saving both time and resources. Day two continued with a tour of Navy recruiting operational unit. At Noru, the candidates were able to speak with sailors and get a first-hand look at how instructors are building the future of Navy recruiting. The candidates even got an opportunity to hear a few motivational chants specific to each class. I got to hang out with a lot of my seniors and my peers all this week and learn a great deal about the history behind naval aviation and everything that goes into putting all this together. And it's a very humbling and honoring experience. Honestly, this week has truly been just a culmination of just history, getting to know the other candidates, the history of the base, and just uh, not necessarily, I guess we say a reward, but just a, a coming together of, of some of the, the best and brightest uh, that the Navy has to offer. And you can also learn from, you know, the other candidates and their experiences and how they've gotten to where they are so far. So it's definitely been a great thing and a, and a, and a good humbling experience, I would say. The final day was the presentation of the winner during the mpt and &E Sailor of the Year ceremony. The event hosted leadership, including Rear Admiral Kyle Kozad and Chief Naval Personnel Vice Admiral Robert Burke, who served as the keynote speaker during the event. It is an absolute honor to be here. I you know we ask a lot of uh, all of our sailors, but these sailors in particular, their uh, hard work, their dedication to duties, and their shipmates didn't go unnoticed. This is why they were recommended and chosen to this award, and that's why they're here today. The final moment came and CMP announced EM1 Avenese Taylor as the mpt and &E Sailor of the Year. Me, uh, throughout my career, I'm, I'm a product of good family upbringing, good, good family upbringing in the Navy as well, and just uh, kind of just being motivated and trying to be an inspiration to others. Taylor will now compete with sailors from across the fleet for the CNO Shore Sailor of the Year. The winner will be meritoriously advanced to the rank of Chief Petty Officer. Really the main thing I would like to impress upon junior sailors is to, you know, take the knowledge from all the people who are, who are helping you out and who are there to guide you, but you also have to, you know, find yourself and, and be the best you you can be. Each mpt and &E Sailor of the Year candidate was awarded a Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.